thus creating a distinction between safe and off lane. That is, the safe lane is short and relatively safe, the off lane is long and easier to be flanked. We hope that this asymmetrical design will allow the two factions to have more opportunity to fight with weight and courage during laning. When the position of the creep wave is relatively dangerous, players can choose to enter the jungle to gain more gold. There are many different sets of creep camps. Occasionally, creeps will automatically upgrade. Killing upgraded creeps will grant more experience and gold. Apart from the central tower, there are a few high ground locations distributed across the map. By placing an observer ward on the high ground, you can gain an obstructed vision over the terrain. The competition for these high ground locations will play a crucial role in the direction of the battle. In addition to above mechanics, more mechanics such as teleportation, tree destruction, and more are also being tested. Creating battles that impress players has always been our design focus. The addition of these mechanics and the events will lead to infinite possibilities in every game. Next, let's talk about the battle design. Most heroes in Auto Chase MOBA have four abilities. One of these abilities is inherited from Auto Chase. The other three abilities have become the key to designing our heroes. We have taken game balance, logic, and game feel into full consideration. Take Zeus as an example. His abilities can cause heavy magic damage. When the enemy is at low HP, Zeus can use his signature auto chase skill, Zeus Punishment, to kill the enemy. But his shortcomings are also very obvious. A lack of crowd control requires his teammates to give him enough support to maximize his damage output. The lack of escape ability is another shortcoming of Zeus. How to create a good output environment is a problem when playing against assassin heroes. The heroes of Auto Chase MOBA have no initial general abilities. Players can carry three active items at the same time to form a variety of game play styles, such as Teleport Dagger. Scythe of Wise Herb of Refresh We hope players can discover unique hero gameplay in item selection and teamwork. Different item choices will become a means for players to break the dialog. The right item choice can change a battle and even win a game. In addition, roaming and teamwork are part of Auto Chase Mobile's core gameplay. Teleportation will make team fights more frequent and intense, making team decisions even more important. A good decision can save the day and turn the tide of battle in an instant. On the contrary, it may quickly ruin a lot of the advantage. Of course, the content we just mentioned is still not perfect, and we will continue to make changes and optimizations before the official launch. With the map and battle design updates out of the way, let's talk about the visuals. In the initial development process, we try to directly bring the original characters in Auto Chase into Auto Chase Mobile, but that didn't satisfy us. Due to the original code version head to body ratio of Auto Chase, the limbs of characters are relatively short. Some designs will block the entire character's body from view in Auto Chase MOBA. We have selected some Chase Piece skins from Auto Chase. These images adopt a relatively realistic and sterilized design. We are also retaining and expanding the original design and characteristics of the Chase Piece. Based on the art style and game feel of Auto Chase MOBA, we have upgraded the design of these pieces. We hope the new designs can bring players a better gaming experience. In the world of Auto Chase, there are various races. We divide these races into two camps, the Secret Alliance represented by the Divinity, Feathered, and Human, as well as the Demonic Legion represented by the Demon, Glacier, and Goblin. Our concept artists use two distinct graphic and color designs to showcase the two opposing camps on the map. For example, the tower design. Divine camps use one square plan totems to create an atmosphere of order. The dial camps use dark gray tones with flames and sharp graphic elements to highlight the characteristics of rebellion. We hope to present a sense of incompatibility and conflict between the secret alliance and the demonic legion. The visual design should also bring clarity to the player's positioning on the map. We are also following community feedback provided during development. We have selected a few of the most common questions we received to share our thoughts.
compared with other mobile MOBA games, we hope to provide a deeper, more strategic gaming experience. The asymmetric map, active item abilities, and hero design will make every lane, team battle, and victory unique and intriguing. In the first video we released in January last year, we actually answered this question. Again, all heroes in the game will be available for free, and there will be nothing else such as runes that would need to be purchased. The last question is the release date. We plan to have multiple rounds of testing throughout the year. Our small scale cliffs test is already underway. In the near future, an independent section of Auto Chase MOBA will be added to the Pocket Dragon Nest app to release information, update development logs, and collect player feedback. So, this is the entire content of this Auto Chase MOBA developer log. We'll release more Auto Chase MOBA news in the future. We are very much looking forward to your suggestions and feedback. If there are like minded friends who are willing to join, you can contact us through the official email. Thank you for your continued attention. See you next time.